Hey guys, Kururugi here, hope you guys doing great and today we'll be talking about one of my favorite types of dramas and that is the vampire genre. So today's video is about my top Japanese vampire dramas you should watch. And make sure you guys let me know down below what you think of my list and the vampire Japanese dramas in general. Alright, let's start with Vampire Host, which was released in 2004, so it's kind of an old show, starring Komukai Minako and Matsuda Satoshi. This drama is more like comedy with some real serious moments, which is about Rion, a high school girl who doesn't believe that vampires exist at all. The story starts with her looking for her classmate Shiho, who turns up missing. She got a call from her classmate Shiho saying, help, it's a real vampire. Rion goes to this vampire host's club thinking they are behind the disappearance of her classmate and starts working there. One of those vampire hosts called Suo, who saved Rion when she was about to get kidnapped and ended up being stabbed. Suo heals himself cause he's got the ability to do so. Rion then found out that vampires are real, since she saw Suo heals himself after being stabbed. Suo feeds on blood packs so he doesn't assault human beings to suck their blood. He eats a lot of garlic, walks around in daylight and have crosses all around the host club so it's kind of a different vampire from the usual ones we see in other shows. He is 200 years old but looks like a teenager, or he's a teenager actually. <laughs> he has a necklace that has him transformed into a vampire whenever he wants to. Hunger and temptation may have him transformed as well. I was a bit disappointed with the end, I thought it could have been way better since Suo just disappears and Rion gets back to her normal school life, so I was like a bit a bit disappointed, I thought it, like it could have been way better. Then several more new cases take place which Suo and Rion try to solve. Next is Vampire Heaven which was released in 2013 starring Omasa Aya, Honda Tsubasa and Hirao Kayuta. The story is really simple, it has some romance and comedy moments, which is basically about a vampire girl falling in love with a human being, and those two vampire girls living in the human world and their adventure in there. The episodes are short and I personally enjoyed it. Sakurako and her best friend Komachi, two vampires who escaped from the annoying evil count of the vampire world. Since they can't stand the sun, they usually have umbrellas, sunglasses on and scarves. They have a bunch of rules that they must follow, like humans can't find out about the existence of vampires. So if someone found out, it means death. It's hard for them to resist blood or someone bleeding. They go to the human world where they pretend to be human beings. Sakurako falls in love with a human being at first sight. His name is Hayato and he is a musician who plays guitar. He's a bit cold and arrogant. But since she is a vampire, she knows that she can only survive by sucking human blood. And she really wants to suck Hayato's blood. There is a girl that loves Hayato, but he doesn't really care about her, so it's like one-sided love. The Count and his still servants go to the human world trying to get those vampire girls. But they keep failing over and over again. Sakura and Kumachi start working at Midnight Cafe and living there. Since Hayato performs in that cafe, Sakura gets to see him and go on dates with him, and while her and Komachi trying to escape from the evil count. And finally, and my top Japanese drama on this list is Koishite Akuma, which was released in 2009, starring Nakamayuma and Katorusa. This drama is more about romance, true love. It starts a bit slow, but it gets better. I personally enjoyed it. The story is about Ruka, a young looking vampire who comes to the human world to suck a human's blood since it is a perfect hunting ground. He uses an umbrella when walking in the daylight. He hates garlic and he is quiet. He claims to be from Romania and transfers to a high school in Tokyo. He says that he wanna find his fated woman that he can suck her blood, so he always stares at women's necks. He stays at a restaurant where they make gyoza, which is a Japanese dish that contains garlic. So it's really not a good place for a vampire to live in. So he usually spends most of his time outside. Plus he's hiding his vampire identity from others. He hates human beings, he thinks they are annoying and retarded creatures. He wanna get back to his world cause he's just tired of humans but he can't go back unless he proved he's a real vampire by sucking a human blood. His attitude and looks remind his teacher Makoto of her ex-boyfriend who died long time ago and he looked exactly like Ruka. He wants to suck his teacher's blood but he doesn't wanna do it for some reason. 
He's in danger of dying and vanishing and turning into dust cause he's never sucked a human's blood before. It's funny how he doesn't know how to treat humans but he learns little by little. He doesn't believe in love at all and he finds it useless but he falls in love with his teacher and finds it difficult to express his feelings to her. Memories come back to him, then he realizes that he's his teacher's Makoto deceased boyfriend that she thought he died long time ago. But a vampire sucked his blood and Uruka then became a vampire. And now he's eternal as long as he sucks human blood. She still loves him too, but him not sucking her blood is putting his life in danger. The end is kinda sad and emotional as Uruka prefers dying rather than drinking Makoto's blood. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Please let me know what you think of my list and what your favorite Japanese vampire dramas are if you watched any. And please like and subscribe for more Japanese shows and anime related content and see you guys very very soon.